Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. This spring and fall we're hosting a whole brand new series of workshops for teachers for math, science, English, and history. You should check out these workshops. We're going to be holding them in Massachusetts, in Florida, in New York, in California. Check them out. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. Today we're going to do a new problem as part of the Go Math 2015 Teacher Workshop Series. It's number 33 on the CSET Multiple Subjects Practice Test, Subtest 2. Let's look at number 33 here. It says, use the, number below, use the numbers below to answer the question that follows. We have a whole bunch of numbers. And it says, to estimate the sum of the numbers given above, Riley first rounded each number to the nearest 10 and then added the rounded values. But how much will Riley's estimate differ from the actual sum? Now let's look at this one here and let's take a moment and let's look at that some of those key words like estimate. Estimate appears a couple times and appears two times. And then we have rounds, rounded, Right, that appears a few times, uh, and we're doing sum, adding these up. So, lots of math vocabulary here, but I, I'm getting the sense that we're going to be rounding these and doing and, and working with uh, estimating and rounding values. So we should think of, we should just really quickly review the rounding rules. You round up, you round a number up whenever the value is equal to five or greater than five. Like for example, in the number two ten. This value here, the, since we're rounding to the tens place, the one digit here is in the tens place, we look to the ones place. And that two digit, well that two is less than five. So this number here would get rounded down. It get re would get rounded down to 210. And I rounded it down from the actual amount of minus two. And we're, gonna, we're gonna have to do that rounding for all these values. And then we'll have to find out the sum of the estimated values and the sum of the actual uh, values and find the difference. So it's a lot. It's going to be a lot of kind of nuts and bolts type of math. I want you to, to do this out on your own. Okay, do it with me, but but do it out on your own so you get this practice. This one right here, round this to the nearest tens place. It would become the six would round up, and this would become two ten, and the six gets rounded up positive 4, 4 units. Now the 246, I look to the 6, the 6 gets rounded up again to make this 250, and I round it up to get to the 250, 4 ones. Now the 238, you know, I'm rounding to the tens place, so the 8 rounds up, it rounds up to 240, the 8, become, um, the eight got rounded up 2 ones to get to the 240. The 231, well, the 1 gets rounded down to make 230, and I'm going down 1. The 216 gets rounded up to 220, plus 4, and the 224 gets rounded down to 220, minus 4. All right, that's the first chunk of the problem, rounding these to the tens place. So you get a little practice with rounding. Then <laughs> you got to do some addition. You got to add these up and find the rounded values, the sum of the rounded values. And then you got to add these up and find the sum of the actual values. And that way we can find the, the difference of the rounded with the actual. Now, as you notice, I kind of made a little cheat sheet on the side here. I made, um, I, I noted that we rounded down to and up four, and if we were to add these values up here, we'd find the difference between the two, and it would save you a lot of time. Um, so uh, let's actually do that now. Let's do a shortcut. This, because I was keeping track of how much from the original, this is like, you know, we, we, we went down to, but then we went up four. I kind of kept a, a cheat sheet here, and uh, I'm going to really quickly do this. If I add up all these values on this cheat sheet, it's going to get me to the difference between the, actu the, the rounded and the actual. So here uh, I, could, uh, I could deal with, uh, I got these. These add up to uh, a positive 10. 
right? Plus 10, um, plus a, a 4, and then we have, uh, and then we have uh, a negative 2, negative 1, negative 7. So negative 2 plus a negative 1 is negative 3, minus a, a, a negative, ne plus a negative 4 is a negative 7. So what I'd get here, if I, if I simplify this, this would be 14 minus 7. I'd come up with a, a difference of, of 7, meaning that if I added all these up and came up with a, a rounded amount, and then I added all these up and came up with the actual amount and subtracted them, the difference should be 7. Now you're doing these calculations also, not just watching the video, but actually solving this problem. And if you, if you, you haven't done that yet, you should pause the video and solve it and see if you're getting the same answer as 7 as the difference. But when I add all these up, I get 1573. I'm trying to find the difference between the rounded and the actual. When I do the difference out, it comes out to 7 as well. Now, as I was going through this, I was asking you to do these calculations because it's important that you do them so you can get to the correct answer and do these calculations accurately on your own. And as I was doing it, I kind of did a shortcut and I'm hoping that you follow along with that shortcut because with a problem like this, that shortcut is going to make your life a lot easier. In fact, it's a lot easier to add these numbers here, negative 2 plus a positive 4, than add all these numbers and do the subtraction. I mean, you'll save yourself so much time. So try and do the shortcut. All right, team, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath. The answer here is 7. It's B. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day. Take care, team. Bye-bye.